Hi, so I'm back again to talk about skincare. And I'm like everyone else, I want clear, even, beautiful skin that looks healthy and glowy and amazing. Um, whether you're whether wearing makeup or not, you can just hit the streets and your skin looks amazing. So in my last video, I talked about the things that I have done to prevent breakouts. I no longer get breakouts, which is amazing because that's step one in having clear, beautiful skin. So I talk about the internal and the external ways to achieve that. So I'm going to leave the link in the description box below so that if you did not see that, you definitely need to go and check it out. It's an important part. Now, once you've gotten that under control, you need to address any past breakouts and the evidence is left behind. So we need to address the hyperpigmentation, the dark spots, the discoloration, you know, anything that keeps you from having that even tone. And I continue to work on this. I am very prone to hyperpigmentation. So there are a couple things that I've done to really, really affect the hyperpigmentation that I experienced. A lot of it faded. I probably have two little spots that I'm trying to still get rid of. I just want to talk about the steps in which to achieve even tone skin by fading your dark spots. Step one, what you need to do is exfoliate your skin. Find an exfoliation schedule that works for your skin. That's going to vary whether you have combination skin or oily skin or sensitive skin, dry skin. That's going to be up to you. For me, I have combination skin and I like to use exfoliants about four times a week. I don't use it every day. Um, at one point I did, but it just wasn't for my skin yet. At that point, I'm sure as my skin gets older and more mature, I'll need to exfoliate more often. But right now, I just can't do that without irritating my skin. So there are two different types of ways that you can exfoliate. You can exfoliate by using some sort of manual scrubbing motion. My favorite product to use to manually exfoliate my skin is this Origins Modern Friction. Um, it's really great. Mm -hmm. It's really great and gentle and just makes my skin feel really, really smooth and ready for any treatments or applications to help me get rid of dark spots. Another way that you can exfoliate your skin is through acids like glycolic acid, um, lactic acid, salicylic acid. Um, I can't use salicylic acid because I am pregnant, but AHAs, which are the glycolic and the lactic, um, they're considered safe during pregnancy, but BHAs um, are not considered safe, and that's what salicylic acid is. But if you are um, not pregnant or nursing, go ahead, do what you do. Um, definitely helps clear the skin. I think using chemical exfoliators actually gives you a better exfoliation than the manual ones. It's more even um, with removing the dead layer of skin and definitely removing those dark spots over time. Um, glycolic acid probably is my favorite out of all the acid exfoliators. But, um, but please you know, if you decide to use glycolic, gly um, lactic acid, or any acids, um, you want to be uh, mindful of the percentage and strength. So the low percentages for um, like lactic acid and glycolic acid, they're fine. You can actually get them over the counter very easily. They can be inside of your facial wash or your night cream um, or even your toner. They can be something added. But there are also the actual pills, the chemical pills, that are usually done inside of um, a professional office, an esthetician or a dermatologist. You might want them to apply it. If you're feeling adventurous, as I have felt in the past, you may want to do this at home on, on your own. There's some great ones on Amazon. I've done it. I haven't had any problems. Everything's turned out fine. I did not burn my face off. However, um, I was very strategic in my application, so I just want you to keep that in mind. Please don't go out burning your face. You know, seek a professional if you're not comfortable doing that. But um, I've done it and definitely saw amazing results in doing so. 
The second step that you need to apply for fading dark spots is to have a serum. Um, I think serums are great. Um, the ones that I like to use are the Origins um, Mega Bright. And I think this is great. I actually use this um, in the mornings and sometimes at night as well for correcting um, my skin tone and making sure that it's even. Um, be diligent with this. It takes a while to actually see results with this for me in my experience. But um, I stuck with it. I made it to bottle number three and I really think that it has really improved a lot of spots on my face and giving me that even tone that we all love. All right, and the third step that you need to implement for clear, even toned skin and fading your hyperpigmentation is having some sort of spot treatment. Oh, anyway, um, yeah, this is Advanced Pigment Corrector and it really helps with um, the areas where you have um, hyperpigmentation because it's excess melanin in that area and you just need to get rid of um, that spot so that your skin can look even and clear all together. So these are the three steps that I take to fade my dark spots. They have been very effective. I have faded sp tons of dark spots and now my skin looks even, more clear, and just much better than it did before when I had breakouts and when I had the aftermath of the breakout, which is obviously the worst part because it takes the longest to get rid of it. Please remember when you're implementing these steps that it takes time. You need to be patient. Um, for me, fading dark spots can take somewhere between three to four months to really get it to be completely invisible and gone from my face. But for some, it may be a little bit earlier than that. But definitely be patient. Um, it's not going to happen overnight, but it will happen. Remember, preventing your breakouts is definitely the first step in preventing hyperpigmentation. So if you want to prevent breakouts, do the things that are necessary internally and externally to make sure that that's clear. And then make sure that you're doing what's necessary to get rid of the old marks from the last time you had a breakout. So I hope you found this helpful. I love talking about skin. It's one of my favorite subjects. All my friends call me about it. So I am here to talk to you about it all day long. I have tons of videos coming on the subject of skin and just really getting um, really in depth about you know, the areas in which people have problems, I've had problems, and my solutions to those problems. And let's dialogue about it. Comment below if you have any skin issues and you want to talk about it. Maybe I've had it and I can tell you what I've done. Or maybe you can tell me about something that you've used that's been amazing for preventing breakouts or correcting hyperpigmentation. I'm a product junkie. I love to try new things to see if it's even better than something I've tried before. So if you want to be a part of this conversation, subscribe to my channel. It's completely free. Like this video, share it, and comment below. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video.